but there was a lot of experimentation to start with, like climate change type of images. So there was like a desert and a flooding scene. I took an artwork which was described by the system and put it in to make a scene and it interpreted the output. So one AI output went into the input of another. I used the controls to create hybrid creatures. So for example, I would draw the shape of a flower and assign that shape to be a jellyfish. I was prompting ideas, mixing, matching worlds. And if you think about Rumi, one of the most influential poet and philosopher of humanity, I found the tool extremely poetic. It did make quite a difference to be able to sketch things in, to give it suggestions where things should go, but still be surprised at the end. It's really about finding that middle ground between directability and then leveraging the power of the machine learning model to do what it's really good at. The fact of having an interface to work with saves a lot of time from having to run things manually, which is how I usually do things. You're trying to get your intent through and these tools are helping you achieve what you want, either faster or giving you more variety or things you might not have thought about. I would like to make art for anyone, any age, any background, any culture. It's like finding the language of humanity. I do believe that this language may exist. And I think if this one day exists, it will be through the help of AI.